All right, gang, going into part two of creating a glitch animation with Wick Editor and Pixlr. And so where we left off was we had made a few duplicate layers of images where we have different filters going on here in Pixlr. And we also have this top layer with a little bit of drawing of these different shapes and colors. And what we need to do now is save these as a series of images so that we can bring them into a Wick Editor and play them through so we can create this drift animation where they kind of flip through really quickly. Um, so let's do a little bit of uh, finishing up here and saving in Pixlr. So jumping back into our Pixlr project, we want to save this series of images. So now I'm going to have all these layers uh, visible, um, mainly looking at the top layer here and this top layer with the shapes. And I'm going to change what's called the blend mode of these shapes. So I'm going to click on the three dots, go to blend mode, and just try out some different combos of these uh, with the images and the filters here. And I kind of like the way that these lines uh, combine with the blend mode here. So I'm going to save this first one. I'm going to go File, Save. I'm going to call this Glitch GIF 1. Um, maybe I'll have to actually change my names. Oh no, actually this is good because it's lowercase. I didn't want it to get confused with um, my other project that I had created. So I'm going to hit download. JPEG is good. We don't need any transparency here, so we don't need to save as PNGs. JPEG is good for this. Um, now I'm just going to make that layer invisible with the filter. Keep this drawing layer on the top. Now this drawing layer, though, we are going to change the blend mode again. So we're looking at combining this filtered layer with this one that here has different blend mode. So we want to change the blend mode every time. So maybe I'll change it to overlay. And that just slightly changes the colors. And we just want it to be a little different than the first one. And now I'll just go to File, Save Again. Choose JPEG. We'll have this as Glitch GIF 2. And we'll say Download. All right, and now we'll go Close. Uh, next layer, so I'm going to turn off the visibility of this layer. So next one down is the one with the fringes. And I'll just go ahead again and change this blend mode again. Maybe I'll go down to see what some of these other ones might look like. Difference kind of does like a negative uh, image, so that kind of gets darker. Nice to have a little variety in the color schemes. So I'll save this one now. We'll go save JPEG. This needs to be GlitchGIF 3. And I'll hit download here. Let this run through, close, and now we're on the last layer, this base layer, the one we had zoomed in on. And again, we want to change the uh, blend mode here on this one more time. Maybe I'll make it something really light on this one. I think if I go to Lumosity, yeah, I kind of like that's kind of like monochromed, but you can still see it a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and let's save this one as my fourth one. So. Keep them all as JPEGs, I suppose. Again, we don't need any transparency here, so JPEG will work fine for this project. So it's nice that, um, you know, if you're using Google Chrome, these are all saved right here, so it actually really helps because um, as I get into this now, I'm not bringing in files from my computer necessarily, so that doesn't get confusing which ones, <laughs> as I have done this uh, project twice now. I'm going to get started on a new document in Wick Editor here. So now we're getting into our animation aspect of it. Um, so going to wickeditor.com, I'm going to fire up the editor here, maybe zoom out a little bit. Uh, first thing I'll notice is when I go to my project that it's not the right size or shape because we did this in a square. So I'm going to go to the gear in the corner here. We're going to name our project. I'm going to call this one Glitch. I'll call it like glitch 2 because I think I already have one glitch 1. Uh, we could hit square here. That would put it at 6, uh, six by 6, which works. Um, you could do 720, um, and you could just make these whatever you want them to be, 720 by 720. Uh, the frame rate as 12 frames per second should be good. We could always turn it up or turn it down if you feel like you want to, and we'll hit apply. And so I'll just zoom out on my stage just a little bit here so I can kind of see what I got going on. Um, and here's your timeline down at the bottom. Uh, each one of these photos, we can just click and drag from here and uh, bring it into the stage so that we can see it here. If you click on your photo, you can turn down the opacity of it. Um, that's helpful in that now I can see where my stage is. So as I shrink this, 
Um, I might have to zoom out just slightly more to get the edges of this. As I shrink it and I hold shift and pull on the corners, I can now see the, uh, you know, the stage area that's going to be visible um, through my photo. So that kind of helps to um, make sure that I get it lined up correctly because I don't want to have it be um, so big that I can't see it in this stage area. So now I can turn the opacity back up once I know that's set in the right size. Now I'll go to the second frame here in the timeline and I'm just going to click on Glitch if 2 and bring this one in. Um, now just to, um, in case you maybe closed this bar at the bottom, um, you can get your photos in here by just clicking on this Upload Assets key on the corner here. And if you click on Upload Assets, you can go to your Downloads folder on your computer and you should be able to find your glitch images right there. You can click on them and then click Open. They'll pop up right in here and then you just click and drag them over from the side over here. So just in case uh, you're not seeing yours along the bottom here. I'm going to again turn my opacity down just a little bit so I can click and drag the corners of this image and make sure that it lines up pretty good with the stage. I want to make sure I don't see any of that white space of the stage showing through. And now we just got to do two more frames. I'm just going to bring this image in here, click, drag it up. I'm just going to hold shift, click and drag on the corners. If I do not hold shift, and while I drag the corner here, uh, it will skew the image. It will end up squished a little bit. And so if I want to maintain the proportions and keep it square, I want to hold the shift key while I click and drag on the corners. And I'm just nudging this into place with my keyboard keys, just the arrow keys on my keyboard to get it into place. Sometimes that's a little easier than um, using your mouse or your touchpad. So again, just gonna click and drag another frame in here as I click to make that frame for it to land. Click on it, turn the opacity down, clicking and dragging while holding shift in the corners to make this fit drag it into place here and that should just about do it. I have to turn this opacity back up to full right here and then uh, if I just hit preview play in the corner here you'll see it play through my images and there you have it. There's our animation so um, I can X this little bit at the slide side here. Um, this is ready to save. So what we do uh, usually want to do with our animation projects, as always, is click the Save button. This will save a WIC file, which you cannot view, but you can open up again in WIC Editor. So it's good to save that file, keep it in your Google Drive um, in case you want to come back to it later. And then if we really want to finish this off and turn in a file for this project, we're going to export GIF. Uh, glitch 2 or whatever name you give it is fine. We click export and that will export our GIF. Once you see it says finished here, we can X out of that. It says safely finished. Um, and then we can view this file in our downloads folder. So if I go to downloads here and I find glitch 2, which I think is probably going to be this one up at the top, I can go ahead and preview play this animation. So. There you have it, glitch animations with Pixlr and Wick Editor combo. So I hope you guys have fun getting creative with your own glitch animations.